And from the Green Chambers, in the quest for solutions to security challenges, the House of Representatives has passed the bill to establish state police for second reading. The bill, sponsored by Deputy Speaker Benjamin Kalu and 14 other lawmakers, generated intense debate on the floor of the House as some lawmakers argue that state police aligns with the principles of federalism, while orders expressed fears of abuse. National Assembly correspondent Mitairi Igben tells us more. Like a precursor, the House began plenary adopting motions on insecurity. On 18 February 2024, a gang of unknown government invaded the national community in Zulu local government in Zamfara State, leading to killing and destruction of lives and properties. As the Inspector General of Police to set up a tactical team that will unveil the mystery behind this attack. Lawmakers argue that the spate of insecurity justifies the bill for state police, which passed second reading. Amending the constitution to allow the state for state policing is not only a step towards true federalism, but also an acknowledgement of the diverse security challenges. We are in need of their need, let me say, of state police. Many states, Mr. Speaker, do not even qualify to be states as it's today economically. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Policing is capital intensive. We may not have 100 percent benefit, but I bet you we have this, all this banditry and so on, because we know who is who in our community. We know. Those who support of this say aye. Aye. Those against say no. Yeah. The eyes have it. A bill for establishing the National Polytechnic Commission to supervise and regulate polytechnics also scaled second reading. The establishment of the commission will also serve to dismantle one of the core indices of discrimination. Other infrastructure motions were adopted. Urge the Federal Road Maintenance Agency FEMA to commence rehabilitation work on Bissau, Shira, Gia, the Goran Burnukudu Road in Bauchi and Jigawa State. Mandate the Committee on Power to conduct a comprehensive investigation into the NMPC Nigerian Agri-Pahe Company joint venture for Pine Winter Power Plant in Delta State. To improve food security, the House calls for seamless distribution of grains across the country. To mandate the Committee on Agriculture to investigate the privatizations from concession of 22 out of 33 government silos for grain storage. Lawmakers also advocate subsidy on agriculture to boost food security. From the National Assembly, Mitaire Ikmen, NTA News.